we're going to message your little boyfriend. Brittany Barone testified Wednesday about the plot her husband laid out in September of 2020 to lure Jonathan Amaralt to a park. Armando Barone allegedly used her phone to message him. At one point, he like stops, stomps on his face. Brittany described a relentless assault when the 25-year-old engineer arrived, and then the moment Armando allegedly forces her to join in. Kill him. Do it. Shoot him. What did you tell him back? No. Did you say whether you could do this? I was like, I can't. Yeah, I, I can't. Brittany says he then ordered her to stand on his throat. I mean, I could hear John like struggling like he was trying to breathe. <laughs> Brittany says Amaralt begged for his life and hers, promising to never talk or see her again. Armando, she says, was undeterred. And John said, what? He said, look at her. Do you still think she's pretty? And John looked at me. He says, yeah, I do. Brittany says her husband forced John Amaral into the hatchback of his own car head first. John's last words were, I thought you were going to let me live, before Armando shot Amaral three times. And John says, wait, I thought you were going to let me live. And Armando said, yes, that means both of us liars. Cross-examination got underway late this afternoon, and it's already intense. The defense showing the jury blown-up photographs of Jonathan Amaral's injuries caused by Brittany. This trial does resume here tomorrow at 9 a.m. We're live in Keene this evening. Amy Cavino, WMUR News 9.